guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles, and this is Arcadius, my iguana, who most of you know, because he's a fan favorite. So in my last video, I told you guys 10 reasons why iguanas make horrible pets, why you should not own iguanas. And I stand by that, I really think that a majority of people should not have iguanas. But today, I'm going to be telling you 10 reasons why I think iguanas make good pets, for the right people because I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't make this video, because Arcadius is my child, and if I could keep one reptile the rest of my life, it'd be iguanas. No, I didn't have coffee this morning. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know why I'm so energized. Especially since it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's when I get tired. So I don't really know what's going on. So, yes, don't go buy an iguana, please. That's not what this video is trying to tell you. This video is just telling you why I like iguanas, why I think iguanas are cool, why for the right people, iguanas are great. But for 99% of the population, you really should just go watch my other video, 10 Reasons Why Iguanas Make Horrible Pets, and not get an iguana. Okay, so jumping into it, number one, the reason why I love iguanas, why I think iguanas are awesome, is because they get so big. Now, Arcadius is stunted, he won't get much bigger than this. But I personally really love big reptiles. I think the bigger the better, and especially when it comes to lizards. I don't really want really big snakes, like a Burmese python. I have seen the size of their poops and their urates, and I'm not about that. But lizards, the bigger the better. So I personally really like how big they get, but a lot of people don't, which is why it's on the other list for why they're bad. But for me, that's good. So this whole video is gonna kind of contradict the other video. So that being said, number two is you get to build a huge enclosure. Now, this is costly, can be a lot of work, takes up a lot of room, but if you really like to design enclosures and make things really personal, it's a lot of fun. You can be really creative. You can go all out. You're basically getting to build a ginormous zoo-sized enclosure. Like, how fun is that? Number three on why they're awesome is they don't eat any bugs. You don't have to deal with bugs. You don't have to deal with crickets. You don't have to deal with worms. No bugs. It's so easy. You don't have to deal with any bugs. Which leads me to point number four. Their food is so easy to get. They're vegetarians. They eat greens. They eat veggies. They eat fruits. You can go to any grocery store and you'll find, don't you jump, don't you jump. You can go to any grocery store and you will find food acceptable for an iguana. Like it is so easy to get food for them. Like right now with the whole coronavirus outbreak, people are going nuts. They're buying out the stores. Like the online mail's coming slow. A lot of online places are saying that soon they might have to stop delivering. So a lot of people are freaking out about the fact that they might not be able to get bugs for their animals. Well, you know what's not being touched at the grocery store? The greens, the veggies, the fresh produce, the things that will go bad in a short amount of time, aka the things that my iguana eats. So his diet, very convenient. Number five is that they're a lot of fun to just go outside and hang out with. Now, because our kid is so small and he's young, he's got a lot of energy. I take him out on his leash and he tends to run around. He won't just sit with me. But bigger ones, they're not quite as fast moving. You can just sit outside and hang out with you. I see people post pictures all the time, hanging out by their pool with their iguana sitting next to them, just sunbathing. How cool is that? You have a reptile that you can just sunbathe with, just joins you out in the sun. I momentarily got our kitties to sit with me last year. I pulled out one of the folding chairs with a footrest and I sat in the chair and he sat on the footrest and we just sat in the warmth and the sun for a while. It was great. So another reason these guys are really awesome is they're super intelligent. They form bonds with their owner. They recognize their owner. I say forms bonds. If you have one, don't you jump. That was pathetic. He's just gonna sit there now. But if you have one that has a good temperament, that you've worked a lot with, you've formed a bond with it, it's really, really rewarding. Obviously, Arcadius and I have a bond. He knows that I'm his owner. He knows that I'm mom. And that's just really rewarding. It's really awesome to have an animal that's that smart, that recognizes you as their owner, that you can form a bond with. And I really, really love that. The next reason that iguanas can be super cool pets is that you can potty train them. So most of them will do their business in their water. So you always want to provide a really big tub of water that they can fit in so they can go to the bathroom in it. Now Arcadius does this sometimes. He's kind of a pain in the butt. He likes to be babied and put in the bathtub to poop. So we kind of have a struggle with that. But I've seen people potty train, especially if they have free roaming iguanas, they'll have a spot in the corner of their house where they go to the bathroom. I've seen people potty train them on the legit toilet. They'll climb up and poop in the toilet. I've seen that. That's crazy. I don't know how they do it, 
but it can be done. So they can be potty trained. The other reason I think they're awesome is because they are challenging. I love a challenge. I don't like things to be too easy. And when you are able to fulfill that challenge, it is so rewarding. So I love that he's a little harder to care for. You know, we dealt with metabolic bone disease right off the bat when I got him. We weren't sure he was going to survive. And he did. He pulled through. And that was so rewarding for me to be able to say that I did that. You know, we took care of him. He's all better. And he's living like a little king. So I just find being able to care for him super rewarding. Now, a lot of people wouldn't, but I personally do. Number nine on the list is that they are diurnal, meaning they're awake during the day. So you get to see them interact with them while you're awake. They're not like a gecko that comes out at night when you're ready to go to bed. So that's super fun. And number 10 on the list, which is the big thing for me, which I kind of touched on earlier when I was talking about how smart they are and how they can recognize you, is that you form a connection with them. So Arcadius and I have a very strong connection and it's just really, really great. It's really lovely. They're basically like a puppy dog. If you get them, to, I don't want to give you guys the idea that they're puppy dogs. They're not puppy dogs. They're not like a puppy dog. But mentality-wise and connection-wise, they're kind of like a puppy dog. If you put the time in and you really work to try to build that connection with them. So it's really, really great that you can have that connection with them. Like, I don't feel like I have that connection with my other lizards. Him, he's literally like my child. So our case was starting to butt wiggle. So I put him back in his enclosure in his tub so that he wouldn't poop on my bed. So thank you guys for tuning into this video, why I think iguanas make great pets for the right people. Again, if you didn't already see my video as to why I think iguanas make horrible pets, please, please, please go watch that before deciding that you want to get an Arcadius for yourself. So I really recommend that you don't do that. But if you think that you are the right person for an iguana, you've done all the research, and you're really, really ready, you think you can really, really do it, then okay. I have nothing else to say. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love Arcadius like I do. And thank you, and we'll see you for the next video.